Hi everyone, welcome to Organic Artisan Lab Corporation and this is Lee Strachan once again. Today we will be talking about another module of Comprehensive Personal Care Formulation Study Program and we will talk about and discuss about a product in module number 9 which is creating products that works. So this is part one guys, part one of module nine. So uh, what I have here today, I've got again, this is about emulsion. Okay, so this is just like an advanced course after you have done uh, module five and module six. It's a continuous, continuous learning process regarding emulsion. So today you will be making uh, pomegranate, this is the name that I gave to it. Pomegranate Cleansing Cream Rejuvenates. See, it's very long. So it's up to you to create your own uh, name, of course. It depends on what it should resonate the ingredients that you will be using um, in your product. So this is a really wonderful product that you will be making. And by the way, uh, later later after this, after this video, we will be discussing about uh, module 9 and I'll explain to you uh, the difference of all the emulsions that we did or the difference of a lotion against a uh, cleansing balm so there's a big difference between the two so as you can see I have here the same materials the same equipment that we've been using I've got our range here our stove I mean I meant we have our stove this is where I'm going to add in all my um, phase A Okay, and then our phase, uh, phase A, and then our phase, phase A and B, and then our phase C's will be all here. So I'm starting to warm this up now. So what I'm going to do, I've got all the phase C's in here. I'm still thinking which one I should. So it's up to you. You may either do the other way around. Okay. So first, again. I hope you, you haven't forgotten about it. The first thing that we have to do is to combine our face bees, the slurry method. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir in our xanthan gum to the glycerine. So we're stirring xanthan gum to the glycerine, which is our slurry method, right? Okay, so. So once I'm done with the slurry method, I'll go ahead and proceed. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I'll just go ahead and pour in, combine all our face A's in this container. Okay. So I've got here chamomile um, hydrosol or chamomile, organic chamomile flower water. This is not yet on guys, I'm still, um, I'm just trying to combine all the face A ingredients. So. I haven't turned it on yet, and this is distilled water. Okay, and we have our supporting preservation. Again, this is sodium benzoate. The only thing that, uh, the only reason why I don't like using potassium sorbate basically is that because it gives me like a fishy smell. All right, so let's try and install sodium benzoate. While waiting for our slurry, okay. so our slurry has to be incorporated or combined with our phase B, phase A. So this is our phase B. So you know why we're doing this, so that we will avoid the forming of fish eyes. Okay. So while doing this as well, I think I should start with my phase C on the other um, warming element heating element so I've got citerial alcohol here okay it's been on for quite oh it's already basically it's already look at that and our oils okay we're using only one oil here I'm using soybean oil this is basically I'm using an aloe vera infused uh, soybean oil so Okay, and um, I have the stearic acid here as our binder. Yeah, let me find what 
else on our face C. We've got, uh, we have our all our oils. So I'm just going to turn this down because it's, it's uh, creating a smoke. So, okay. And then I, I think I have to turn this on now. So what you have to do, if that's happening, just go ahead and, while doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and put this here. I haven't turned it on, so let me go to medium for our water part. Okay, I'm just putting this back on. So I've got our face C's in here, and our face A's all here. I still have my face B here with me. I'm still trying to complete our slurry. Because this is a pretty uh, tiny amount of face C's, um, and we're only doing 150 gram batch, that's why. So um, it could easily burn. So make sure you always watch. You, know, you, you always watch what you're doing. So while waiting for this to warm up, I'm just going to proceed and stir in our slurry. So this the slurry again um, is our face B and it has vegetable glycerin or glycerin. You may use organic or just a regular one uh, and santan gum. So um, if you're not using santan gum, you may also use sclerotium gum, okay? The ones that I find hard to pronounce. I'm getting used to it. It's not sclerotium gum. All right, there you go. So if you're just here and looking at the emulsion of this slurry and face, face A and face B, you'll see those bits of, uh, you know, bits of those santan gum that it's not dissolving properly but it's gonna go uh, later it's gonna dissolve later disperse later once we use our uh, blender all right so of course because this is an emulsion it's it's always a must that we check the temperature of both let me just check this and we need to Combine them at 70 degrees Celsius. We have 24 degrees Celsius right now, and I've got a pretty high one here, so I can I can just turn this off for now. This is already 117 degrees Celsius, and we don't want to burn our um, face C's while waiting for our face A. So. So I've got all, again, I've got all the face A and face B in here, in this warming element. And then I've got all the face C's in here. Face C's are composed of our emulsifiers, which are ceteral alcohol, we have stearic acid there. We've got pretty few emulsifier and uh, binder, stearic acid and um, ceteral alcohol, okay. We've got our aloe vera infused soybean oil. We're using only one type of oil here. And then, um, so yeah, that's it. And then the rest will be, the rest will be our uh, face D's, okay? So we're trying to uh, warm our emulsion. Let me check this again. 30 degrees Celsius. So I'm still on standby because this is pretty, pretty um, small amount and it's already on its peak temperature so let me just stand by for a while so as I'm explaining as I'm saying a while ago um, uh, there's a big difference between a lotion uh, a face moisturizer uh, what else a uh, cleansing balm and also a um, body butter so with a cleansing balm if you will check if you will just check the the formulary we actually have high amount of emulsifier in the formula which is ceteral alcohol we'll be using five percent and then we only have a very small amount of oil all right because we want a more playtime 
uh, of the emulsion on our skin because we're trying so that will be able to cleanse the skin the face of the dirt and the excess oils okay so that's the reason why there's only a little bit of oils and there's a lot of surfactants remember emulsifiers are surfactants right so this is on <laughs> yeah it's on it's warming okay so we've got 43 degrees celsius now all right so what we, again what we have here why did i say this is a pretty you know awesome formulary we've got guys we've got pomegranate extracts we've got rose heap extracts in here and we've got acai fruit extracts in here plus we're using a really nice hydrosol chamomile hydrosol will give us that soothing and calming and an anti-irritant as well so um, it provides a milder formula while using really wonderful wonderful rejuvenating extracts on those superfoods so um, it's giving us a sound 49 degrees Celsius I put it on high right now so that um, we'll be able to um, so while we're waiting for that to warm up I'm just gonna go ahead and sanitize our containers so we're getting ready for Pouring. Okay, so let's check it again. It's pr practically boyer. Okay, we're done. So I'm gonna turn this off now and then we'll check on my face. Yes, perfect. So right now, both are on its, um, this is 75 degrees Celsius and this is like 85. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine them two okay combining face and combining face a b and face c scrape it to create the emulsion let me just scrape all of it for a very nice emulsion okay there you go got them all in all right so now we will just create the emulsion by whisking and then we'll wait for it to um, we will wait for the uh, uh, temperature to drop down to at least 40 to 50 degrees Celsius before we add our next phase. Okay. Okay. So our temperature is now on 15. We'll start adding the rest of phase B, phase B inversions in a bit more. Oh, I have them all here at the bottom. So I've got our vitamin E. Okay, let's blend our vitamin E now. It's not much. It's only like 0.2%. So uh, you barely can see them. Okay, and then let's add in our panthenol, vitamin B5. Our um, acai fruit extracts, sojum PCA. This is another. So we're blending two types of natural humectants here. Um, we had uh, we had uh, glycerin on phase B, and then now we have sojum PCA or sojum L. Uh, pyroglutamate on phase D and then our um, pomegranate extracts and 
gift are um, preservation and my essential oil. Okay, let's wait for it to. gel at the moment but it will you know set uh, settle down later you know and the emulsion will form once it has cooled down so I decided to use our stick blender our friendly stick blender here so that we will reach the emulsion um, easier than waiting for the whisk because it's going to take time. And there you go. You're seeing the creamy emulsion now. So we're just waiting for it. Basically, we're waiting for it to um, cool down so that we will see the texture. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the, the texture of the outcome of this bomb later once it, uh, it has cooled down. So for now, I'll just continue to emulsify our uh, pomegranate, what's the name of this one again? Pomegranate Cleansing Cream Rejuvenate. So, alright, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you again on part 2 of our, part 2 of our, um, Creating products that works on module 9. Thank you so much. Have fun formulating guys. Bye